All right, okay, so here's the thing. All right, so I'm starting this new thing. It's called the Johnny Q Show. Basically, what's gonna happen is you guys call uh, 608-620-4956 and you ask me anything and I give you advice on anything. It could be about business, it could be about life, it could be about relationships, and uh, all of the above. So, getting so many calls, it's kind of crazy. They're all overlapping. This is my first time doing this. If you want advice, if you want to receive wisdom and advice from a 26-year-old brown man who is mildly successful and outrageously funny, then call me. <laughs> Let's go, bro. All right, our next call is from Miami, Florida. Hi there, Yosef. You're on the Johnny Q Show. How can I help? Hey, you got any advice on picking up girls? Any advice on picking up girls? Okay, I this topic is, is a good topic. You know what? Uh, Yo Yosef, right? That's your name? Yeah. Bro, th this is the thing. We live in a society where, in, in this culture of getting girls is the very normal thing, right? And counting how many kills, kill shots, how many birdies you can get. That's all great, but like, that's not how I view women because I'm married. When I was not married, that's not how I viewed women. So the thought of me getting girls, quote unquote, is it was not on my mind because I had one goal and that is to find a godly woman and that's the only person I'm gonna spend my, the rest of my life with. And I, I'm not wasting my time on trying to get girls, girls or trying to sleep around or try to party with. Do you know what I mean? But that's not what you, what you asked. What you asked is how to get girls. This is how I got my girl, okay? Well, this is how I got Sarah. She's not mine. But so honestly, I was just myself, man. I, I, you know, a lot of guys that I know in high school were trying to put on this show of like how grandiose they are and how cool and how mesmerizing. Oh, I'm really cool at sports and I can do all these different things but then you know six months into a relationship they kind of degraded because they couldn't hold a conversation with the girlfriend how old are you man oh, I'm 16. you're 16 bro I, I don't know if this is any useful advice but I would honestly challenge you to to view girls in a whole different way like it's not about picking up girls it's just you know if you respect a woman if you respect a girl and you know, and you ask her out on a date and you say, hey, I think you're uh, pretty cute. I would love to take you out for dinner, for coffee. And if they say no, bro, they say no. You know what I mean? And, and like, you know, I would say your intentions need to be very clear with this girl. And so that's kind of how I would, if I was single in this day and age of 2020, that's how I would pick up girls. That help you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that helps. All right. Well, dude, good luck, man. I wish you all the best. Uh, all right. Peace out. Hales Corners, Wisconsin. Dakota. Hi, Dakota. You're on the Johnny Q Show. How can I help? Um, well, a few years ago, my dad passed away with serious brain ca cancer. Okay. And he was, like, really sick when I was, like, a child. And now since I'm in eighth grade and I'm 13 years old, I still miss him. And I don't know what to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear it. Have you talked to anyone about this? Um, I talked to my grandma, my grandpa, and I talked to a few of the school counselors in elementary school and in middle school. Hmm. And do you do you feel like that has helped, or are you suppressing yeah. emotions? Um, well, I'm doing better from that, but I emailed one of the counselors yesterday, and I'm glad that I'm happy that I'm not having, like, tears of sadness. I'm just having, like, tears of, like, a little bit of a sadness and not as much as I used to. Well, that's good. You know, that's you're in the grieving process. You know, you're now accepting what is going on and again i'm not a psych i'm not a psychologist but i've you know m some of my family members and my wife's family members have you know have passed and it's a very real thing so it's important for us i think to go through that grieving process you know we have to feel the emotions because if we don't we'll suppress it and it will come out in yeah. some other ways that just are not going to be good for us or healthy and i think mm -hmm. you know what you're doing is uh it's good. I, I, I do think of just talking to someone, you know, like you said, your grandma, your mom, counselors, as long as you're talking to someone and not suppressing those emotions, 
I think I think uh, it'll be good. And again, not to you know minimize your your dad's death at all, but it's just it's a part of life. It's a part of the process of you grieving it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say keep doing what you're doing. I think you're doing a great job. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Well, hey, thank you. Thanks for calling in. I appreciate your support. You, you're awesome. Yeah. You are too. Well, thank you so much. Have a good night. Yep. Bye. Call from. Hi, my name's John. To accept, press 1. Hi, John. What's up? You're on the Johnny Q Show. How can I help? Hey, man, what's going on? Not much, man. How you doing? Sweet. Well, thanks for the support. I love your art. Everything's great. So what's this new live thing about with uh, the phone thing? It's new? Uh, yeah, so my whole idea was, I mean, I've been trying to get this going for like the last couple of weeks. But what happens is this. Uh, I want to be a little bit, you know, more attainable to the audience and my consumer base. And I want to bring more value. So the way I'm starting to do that is I'm filming this YouTube series called The Johnny Q Show where people, my followers can call this number and they can ask for advice on business, on social media, different things in their lives and I try to help as best as I can. Sometimes it's gonna be funny, sometimes it's gonna be kinda sad and sometimes it's just gonna be more like, oh, that's that was a really good call. Like I've already had two calls this evening and they were, I think they were pretty helpful. So that's, that's kinda what we're doing here on the John and Q Show. I really don't have anything for you. I just wanted to, I saw your number that you were uh, throwing out there, so I just wanted to call and say, hey, but yeah, I've been watching your spin art for a long time. really love it, man. I think it's great. Dude, well, thanks so much. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. I got to take off and uh, just have a great night, man. Appreciate hey. it. Keep up the good work. You too, man. Thanks so much. Have a good night. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. See ya. Dude, that, this is so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That's basically the John and Q show. This was episode one, and it it turned out to be pretty cool. Again, off the cuff. We're not in the studio how I want to be, but this is how. This is the John and Q show, and I'm just going to see what happens after this. I don't know. So far, I, I think it's been pretty, pretty cool. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the John and Q show. Peace.